first thing that you need to know about Forest Lakes, there is indeed a lake. Second thing you gotta know, there is not a forest. Now look, I'm not saying that Forest Lakes is the best neighborhood in El Paso County, but I'm not saying it's not either. It's got all the potential to be. So we're gonna talk about the neighborhood. We're gonna kind of kind of see what's around. Ultimately, it'll be up to you to decide. So this is the namesake, Forest Lakes. The yeah. number one draw. Yeah, it's, so like we said, <laughs> it does have a lake and this is it. Actually, there's a couple lakes in this area or little bodies of water. Um, funny enough, you can see behind us way over there, that is the actual forest. There are trees over here, but there's definitely no forest. No forest. Yeah, the forest is across the way, um, which sounds nitpicky. However, we do have, like I've had multiple buyers um, coming from out of state and they're like specifically, I want to be in the pine tree. Right, in the forest. I want to be in the forest and they care less about views. So I think what Forest Lakes gives you that, for example, like Woodmore doesn't, is it actually gives you the views of the mountains. You are tucked up right underneath the mountains. Yeah, you're up against the foothills, but since you're not in the trees, you get great views. And it probably sounds crazy. When you're in Colorado, a lake is a big thing. It is a big thing. It's not like Kyle and I are both from the Midwest originally and no big deal, lakes everywhere. Here, not so much. And also when we say lake, we have clients come in from out of town and we show it to them all excited like, and they're like, what is this that you're talking about? This isn't a pond. Yeah, it's a pond. It's like, I don't know how big. But it's a good sized lake. It is, you can, I think you, you can see it on a map. Oh yeah, yeah, you can zoom in and see it. Yeah, 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 exactly. You can kayak, actually it's what the little boat ramp is for. You can kayak and paddleboard and do all that kind of stuff out here. The other amenities out here, uh, we're looking across the lake, but there's a dog park, like a big dog run out there. There's trails that go all through this neighborhood. Mount Hermon is its own uh, amenity in and of itself because of the views. Now I will say, actually, uh, a con of Forest Lakes, because you're so far north, you actually cannot see Pikes Peak. And that does drive some people nuts. Um, I really like seeing Pikes Peak because like right now, it's like the only mountain in this range that has snow on. It's still snowy, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's not like you don't have mountain views. You still do. And there's still lots of wildlife activity up here. And we've got the geese out here, obviously, but there's tons of deer that go through these neighborhoods all the time. I'd like to say that there was elk, but I've caught them all. I've caught them all and rode them off. That's what it is. Yeah. But anyway, so that, that's kind of the main amenities. Are there any amenities I'm missing? I think the other thing is just parks for kids. Oh yeah. There's a couple little, there's community parks that have playground equipment and stuff like that. So you bring the kids down after school, play in the park, hike on the trails. I mean, that's a big, they just like think Colorado outdoors. That's really the amenities I've for Forest Lake. Yeah, I think um, if I were to add one more, it would have to be just the proximity to Denver. Um, because yeah, like point, you're, yeah. you're really close to I-25, like this neighborhood, even when you get tucked back in, you're like, five minutes to I-25 and then less than an hour to Denver on a far less than an hour, even downtown Denver, yep. yeah. Yeah, which is super awesome because where I live, Southeast Colorado Springs, it doesn't, it's dry, you gotta drive through town. You come back, you see like the sign that's like, welcome to Colorado Springs, Olympic City, USA. And I'm like, great, I got another 27 minutes to drive home. Here you're like, you're back in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Anywho, let's go actually see some of the neighborhoods themselves because it's actually kind of broken up into its own little sub pockets. And I think actually some of the coolest houses I've seen are actually out here. I definitely agree. And it's so a lot of different prices. There's full custom builds where you're gonna walk by, then then all the way, I say all the way down, all the way down to 700,000. All the way down. But there's a wide price range in Forest Lake and a lot of different options, no matter what size home you're looking for, or what size lot you're looking for too. So we're gonna pass it off to Francis and Samuel. So here we are in the lower section of Forest Lakes. Um, as you can see, as we're walking by the homes, a little bit smaller, more production style builds, much smaller lots, and that's kind of reflected in the price point. Medium price point in the overall area here, about 720. 
down here, you're gonna find homes anywhere from kind of the mid sixes to the high eights. Yep, definitely. This is also District 38, one of the best districts in Colorado Springs. A great neighborhood all around. A lot more affordable price point here. Like, like Sam was saying, um, you still have access to all of the same great amenities that you have in the upper section of the neighborhood. Really a fantastic option if you're looking to stay in that upper sixes to low eights price point. So it's definitely something to keep into in consideration is uh, it's about six o'clock, it's mid-April, and you already have lost the sun because you're right tucked under the mountains. I love that, I love that feel. I see wildlife out here all the time. I come out here a lot for my clients. Um, but so this one over here is actually, it's Getzman Homes. That's it, I couldn't remember what it was. Getzman's Homes is a classic, home, or is a, uh, a custom home builder. Um, Palmer Ridge is also a custom home builder. But then when we get back onto this side, um, this is back by Classic. Now they don't have many of these lots left. Uh, last time that I was here, I believe that they had less than 15 remaining. Um, so give or take, that was about a month ago and one of my clients snagged them up. So this, this is the area though that you can see behind me. So left and right side, all of these are like working towards going under production. I think Classic Homes is a great builder and so is Vantage and they just kind of like interspersed own these homes around here. Now off to my left, what you'll see is what I love about these ones is while yes, you'll be kind of like stacked left and right is down here, you actually have a lot of open space um, and these homes actually back to open space that nobody will ever build behind. So they're only building these one row deep. They're not actually like continuing off into the, you know, forever land. And then over here on the right side, as you saw, it backs to that mountain that's right in the center. So I love the West Valley area. I think it's so cool. It's private. The homes are awesome. When this is done, this is gonna be a spectacular place to bring your family. Now let's go see though, probably the wildest up there on the hill behind me, the custom builds. I got to pass it off to Chris though, because Chris is the master when it comes to custom builds. It's like we talked about earlier, Forest Lakes has a ton of different options when it comes to housing. So, you know, I know Kyle showed you guys some stuff on the West Valley area where they're still doing new construction right now. So those homes are amazing. They are definitely pushing seven figures. I think we have a client in there that's right at seven figures, but man, it's a great location. We're up on top of, I call it the Mesa. You kind of go over top of this Mesa when you go from the lake back to the area that Kyle showed you. So this part up here on the Mesa, it's all true custom homes. So, uh, you know, some of you guys may know that I've got a partnership with a great local custom builder. Definitely have some clients look, there's only a couple lots left in this area right now, but man, it's amazing views from up top here. You get some crazy city views. Obviously it feels like you're in the mountains because you're looking at the foothills right behind you. And like I said, it's a true custom area. See these homes up here, I mean, they're a different price point, right? I mean, most of these homes up here are definitely gonna be $2 million plus. They're gonna be large homes, you know, 5,000 square feet or more for sure. Um, but like I said, it's true, true custom. And the there's just not a lot of this left in Colorado Springs where you could be so close to everything, but yeah, you feel like you're a world away. We talked a little bit about it earlier as well, that there's a ton of trails that go through the Forest Lake area. So from the, you can probably kind of see behind me right now. Like, so this is, I mean, this is the front range. You're right up against it. And the great thing about it, there's really nothing behind here. The national forest land actually starts right at the base where that, you kind of see where the mountain starts to grow back there off that little plateau. So that's where the national forest starts. So behind these houses, there's not a whole lot else happening. Everything is kind of already subdivided. There's only one section I know of that was a larger parcel and it's already been split up. Hasn't been developed yet, but it has been plotted out and it's gonna get sold. So another great thing about this area is, man, you just don't have to worry about any future growth around you. Now, obviously on the flip side of that, as you can imagine, some of the people that used to have this big ranch surrounding them, they're a little bit bummed now that there's a lot of houses, but like I said also earlier, Forest Lakes has done a great job. The developers done a great job making a really nice community, visually appealing, not too many houses in here. So if it's an area that, you know, like I said, if you wanna be monument area, north of Colorado Springs, you like that true custom feel, definitely check this area out for sure. 
If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for sticking around. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you are looking to move to the Monument area, we are licensed realtors. We are the ones that are answering all of your comments, your texts, your calls, and we love helping people find their next dream house. So definitely give us a call and we'll see you on the next video.